The movie opens up with Kim, a beautiful lazy girl sleeping in a box of flowers when a boy approaches her and suddenly kisses her. Happy, Kim opens her eyes only to see an ugly looking guy trying to get close to her. Terrified, she screams at the top of her lungs. However, in reality, it all turns out to be her dream as she is sleeping in her classroom. Later, Kim approaches her friends and lies to them saying that she saw her Prince Charming trying to kiss her in her dream. One of her friends states that if a girl sees a prince in her dream, then she is destined to meet him in real life very soon. After the class is over, Kim meets her boyfriend in a restaurant. Instead of celebrating their 100 days of relationship together, he decides to break up with her with no explanation. Sad and alone, Kim proceeds home and on her way, she notices an empty juice can and kicks it hard in rage. To her bad luck, the can goes high up in the air and hits a young man, Kong, who is driving his luxury car. Because of the can, he gets distracted and crashes into a wall. Kong then yells at Kim to pay for the damage. At first, she innocently agrees, but when Kong asks for $3,000 to repair his Lexus 340, she tricks him and runs away. Unfortunately, while trying to flee, Kim's wallet falls on the side of the road, allowing Kong to pick it up. In the next scene, Kim is dreaming about the police squad surrounding her house from all sides and asking her to surrender herself. Right then, she receives a call from Kong, who got her number from her ID card inside her wallet. Kim picks up the call, and after learning that it's from Kong, she hangs up and quickly turns it off. The following day, after school is over, Kim and her friends are on their way home. To their surprise, they see a huge crowd of students outside the school gate. Soon, Kim reaches there, and when she reads the notice board, she finds her name on the posters, stating, Kim, come out right now. Enraged, she starts tearing down the posters, but just then, Kong arrives, picks her up, and takes her away in his car. While driving, he tells her that she just needs to give him $3,000 for the damage to set herself free. Kim tries to plead with Kong by mentioning that she is just a high school student and she doesn't have enough money to pay the amount he is asking for. However, Kong is not prepared to let her go without the money, so he takes her to a nearby restaurant. There, he makes her sign a work repayment contract, which states that Kim will have to pay him $30 each day for the next 100 days to complete the payment of $3,000. Having no other options left, Kim signs the contract and agrees to obey all of his orders. For safety reasons, Kong also confiscates her ID card and threatens to call her parents for money. Following this, Kim returns home tired, but as soon as she falls on the bed, she gets a call from Kong. To her surprise, he starts explaining exactly what she is doing in her room, making her suspicious. She then looks outside the window, only to find him in the opposite building, smiling at her. Annoyed, Kim closes the curtains and starts crying. The next day in the classroom, despite being harassed by Kong, Kim tells her friends that the handsome boy is actually her boyfriend. She also mentions Kong belongs to a rich family and that he drives a luxury car. Everyone is impressed, and they call Kim a lucky girl. At the same time, Kong calls her and asks her to come to his apartment as soon as possible. Kim tries to make him understand that she's still in class, but Kong doesn't listen and cuts the call short. After this, in order to get permission from the homeroom teacher to leave the classroom, Kim pepper sprays her eyes to make them look like she's suffering from some kind of eye disease. Surprisingly, her home teacher believes it and lets her leave the school. Sometime later, Kim arrives at Kong's apartment where the latter orders her to clean the whole place. He mentions that his father is arriving soon, so they have to start immediately. Hearing this, Kim quickly gets to work and makes the rooms look absolutely neat and clean. After she is finished, Kong arrives with his father and introduces Kim as his mate. He then asks her to leave and gives her some money as a tip. In the next scene, Kim and her friends are planning to watch a movie together. Kim seems very excited about the plan, but to her dismay, Kong calls and asks her to meet him at a cyber cafe. Obliging to the order, she arrives at the location and Kong makes her complete his unfinished projects. He makes her carry his shopping bags and even asks her to bring snacks while watching a movie in a theater. The following day, Kim's father crashes his car, so she accompanies him to the garage. There, she learns that the amount to repair a dent, even for a luxury car, is just $20. This makes her realize that Kim has been fooling her this entire time. So, later, as a form of revenge, she angrily paints the windshield of Kong's car black. Unfortunately, the paint doesn't come off and Kong is forced to replace his windshield, costing him a lot of money. The following day, Kong messages Kim and asks her to meet up, but she simply teases him. As expected, he arrives outside her school gate, and as soon as he sees Kim, he starts chasing her. Kim somehow manages to reach home where she immediately grabs her mother's legs and asks to be transferred to a new school. Sadly, her mother, Jenny, quickly rejects the idea, saying it is not possible. Meanwhile, Kong posts some pamphlets advertising for a cheap private tutor. At the same time, Jenny looks at her daughter's report card and finds out that she has very low grades. 
She then sees the pamphlets, falls for the low tuition price, and immediately calls the given phone number. Kong arrives at Kim's house and her mother welcomes him in, while making the snide remark that her ignorant daughter needs a private tutor. Kim is speechless as the person she's been trying to escape will actually be her tutor now. As the days pass, Kong starts liking Kim and suggests they go on a long trip together during their summer vacation. Kim, who has also grown feelings for him, quickly agrees to the plan. However, she mentions that her parents will never allow her to stay out overnight. Hearing this, Kong buys some vacation tickets and succeeds in giving them to her parents, announcing them as bumper prize winners. In the following scene, after her parents leave for vacation, Kim joins Kong and decides to spend some quality time together. The next day, the two take part in different sports and enjoy each other's company. However, when Kim is trying to attempt a bungee jump, she feels weird because of the height and passes out. Fortunately, before she can fall, Kong manages to get a hold of her and rushes her to the nearby hospital. There, Kong desperately waits for Kim to open her eyes. But as he does not want Kim to witness his feelings, he walks out of the hospital room and cries, sitting on a bench. Soon, Kim regains consciousness and prepares to return home. In the following scene, Kim's parents arrive home and find their daughter preparing for the entrance exam. On the other hand, Kong is looking at Kim's pictures from the vacation and smiling. He then visits a nearby jewelry shop and buys a ring for her to celebrate their 100th day of their work repayment agreement. Later at night, Kong calls Kim from a restaurant to celebrate his birthday party along with his friends. When she arrives there, Kong mentions that she is now free because her contract is ended. He then burns the contract paper in front of everyone and wears the shorts Kim bought him as a birthday present. After the party is over, Kong accompanies Kim to her house and kisses her on the lips in public. She does not oppose it and simply rushes inside the house after saying goodbye. Unfortunately, her mother notices them kissing and confronts Kong for toying around with her daughter. She warns him to stay away from Kim and also fires him as her personal tutor. The following day, while Kim is watching Kong's video on her phone, Jenny brings a new tutor to her room and also pulls the curtain, covering the windows. After class, Kim tries to call Kong through a public phone, but to her dismay, he does not pick up. In the next scene, Kim waits for Kong to come out of his apartment, and as soon as he does, she follows him around and asks the reason for his change in behavior. Kong rudely replies that he doesn't have enough time to teach her and admits that he was just playing with her. He then leaves, but not before telling Kim that she is annoying and irritating. Hearing this, Kim is deeply hurt, so she decides to focus on her studies. However, it only lasts a short time, and she again starts missing Kong. One night, while Kim is returning home after partying with her friends, she runs into Kong. She confronts him about why he played with her feelings. However, Kong doesn't say a word and simply leaves. The following day, Kong prepares to leave his apartment and move to another city. Before departing, he leaves a letter for Kim, containing the ring he bought for her previously. When she finds the letter, she rushes to stop Kong, but unfortunately, he has already left. From that day onwards, Kim becomes serious about her studies and even asks her personal tutor to help her get good marks in the entrance exam. She works hard day and night till the exam and completes it with ease. However, when the results come out, Kim fails to find her name on the list. Later at night, the tutor brings her to the side of a pond and leaves her alone. Right then, the lights around the pond turn on and Kong can be seen standing in front of Kim. She is taken aback to see him holding her admission certificate. Kong then reveals the promise he made to Jenny about helping her pass the entrance exam. He tells her the story about how he, with the help of his friends, searched for different possible questions for the exam and convinced her tutor to teach them to her. He also reveals that he talked to her college principal and removed her name from the list to give her a surprise. The movie ends as the two reconcile and kiss each other affectionately.